Now in this question, we're asked to find the total number of defects in six planks. And so you can see that I've let this random variable t be that total number of defects. And we've got to work out the probability that the total number of defects is less than 18 by using a suitable approximation. Well, first of all, let's set up what distribution this is. Well, it's got to be a Poisson distribution. If we go back to earlier, we found out that uh, we defined x as being the random variable number of defects in a 100 centimeter plank, where x was a Poisson distribution with mean of 5. So if we're expecting 5 defects in every plank, over 6 planks, that total is going to be 30, 6 times the 5. So what I'd have here is where t is distributed as a Poisson distribution with a mean of 30. Now it says use a suitable approximation to work out the probability that t is less than 18. And that approximation is a normal approximation. And the reason for that is because the mean here, 30, exceeds a particular value. And that particular value, let's just put since lambda exceeds is greater than, well that particular value I notice varies generally from one book to another that I read. I've seen it go as low as 10 and up to 20. So I'm just going to say 15 here. Okay, so since lambda is greater than 15, what I have is that t follows a normal distribution. Well, it doesn't really follow a normal distribution exactly. It follows it approximately. So I'm going to write that word approximately there. And like all normal distributions, we have two parameters in here, the mean and the variance. Well, the mean is 30. And what is the variance? Well, we should know that the variance of a Poisson distribution is always the same as the mean. So the variance will be, in this case, 30. Now we've got to work out then the probability that t is less than 18 using this normal approximation. So I'd want to draw my normal distribution for the random variable t with a mean of 30. And I need to put this value of 18 in. But we've got to be very careful with something like this. I'm just going to draw a dotted line down through here. So this value is 18. But why have we got to be careful? We've got to use a continuity correction when we're working something out like this. Because we're going from a discrete random variable, from the Poisson distribution, to a continuous random variable. So this continuity correction, and I'm assuming that you're familiar with this, if not, just go on my website and have a look at the tutorials for continuity correction. But essentially, what we've got to think of is a bar in here of width one unit. Now we want to be less than 18, so we want the area to the left of the 18, this area in here. But because we're going to be less than 18, we don't want to go into the bar. We just go up to this edge. And this edge here is at 17.5. Remember, the bar is of one unit width. So it's this value at 17.5 that is really projected down onto our standardized normal distribution curve. And so let's just call this z1. So what is the value of z1 and what is that probability of being less than z1? Now in the usual way we should know that to get the value of z1, z1 equals the observed value which is 17.5 minus the mean which is 30 divided by the standard deviation. And standard deviation is going to be the square root then of the variance, which was 30. And if you work this out, it comes out to be minus 2.2821 and so on. Okay, so working out the probability that t is less than 18 
is now going to be exactly the same as the probability then of z being less than minus 2.282 and so on. And we know that we can't work out negative values from the tables, negative z values, so we need to mirror this across the zero line here. So this is going to be exactly the same as the probability of being greater than 2z being 2.2821. So we'll just write that down there, probability that z is greater than 2.282 and so on. Now I'm putting a lot of steps in here. I'm sure you might want to jump stages, but as I say, I'm just doing this so that you can see where I'm coming from. So we've got the probability that z is greater than 2.282 as a mirror image in here. That's that area to the right of a line down here. Let's just put that in, okay? So that'd be that area. But working out that area is the same as one, the whole area, minus the probability that z is less than 2.282 and so on. This now puts us into the tables. So in the usual way, if you look up your value that you get for this, you should find that you get 0.9887, okay? Take that away from one and you've got your answer, 0.0113. Okay, so I hope it's given you an idea. As I say, don't forget the uh, continuity correction though, because we're approximating a discrete random variable to a continuous one, and it's so easy to miss this out. Okay, so there you go. That's how I would certainly go about that question.